Some concerned members of the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association have petitioned um, the association to, as a matter of urgency, stop deducting monies from um, their accounts or risk losing them as members of the association. They claim the association over the period have been deducting huge amounts of monies from their accounts monthly, a development they want halted. And I would be speaking shortly to uh, a leading member of the group to find out really what, whether or not these concerns have been raised with the leadership of the, uh, of, of the association and, and whether or not they've had any responses regarding that. And we've been joined in studio by Samuel Pierre Lacer. I hope I got the pronunciation yeah, Pew, there. Pew, Pew, Pew uh, He's a leading member of the concerned nurses who say that some huge amounts have, are being deducted from their, um, from their salaries. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. How? Good afternoon. When did this start, these deductions you're talking about? When did it start? Um, according to the history about the association, it started in um, 1960. What? 1960. 1960. Yeah, that is when the, uh, the deduction started. But when we, we were in the service, which was um, 2016, then the association did not preview, educate any of us about whether to join any association. Then our back salary, five-month salary started, and we saw that the, the association deducted on, on our arrears. Then I, we, we approached the, the members, those executives. What is the problem? And they were telling us that since you are a nurse and you are, uh, you are uh, registered, licensed practice nurse, and you come out as a, as a nurse and working at any various, various agencies, uh, you are automatic member. Then I said, no. As a profession, profession as it is, mm. being a professional as it is and uh, uh, comprised of nurses, they understand consent. Right. What is meant by consent? So why don't they seek the consent, whether a nurse will join or not to join? Mm. And furthermore, so, so it's like an automatic addition, whether you like it or not. Yeah, and and that is the problem we want to correct. And two, they are claiming that uh, um, they, they, there's a nurses fund which is fifty cities, and I can bet you I have the access pension on my uh, app on my phone. You check, and they will tell you that there is no set up beneficiary for the fund. So the question is, who is the beneficiary to the fund? In case I'm not there, mm. and there are a lot more nurses who are not in the system who have passed away, and their relatives don't know that they have they are, they are contributing to the fund. Have you raised these concerns with the leadership of the uh, Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association? And if you have, what was the response you got from them? The the response is old song. They will not mind you because they think that uh, they always used to say that they hold the bargaining power. But holding a bargaining power does not give you the right to deduct someone unnecessary. For example, last month, me, they deducted nurses to the extent that nurses were running at a negative net. And these are registered nurses? Yes. It, they were, they, it, it was negative net up to 1004, negative. And you are telling us that you, you, you are fighting for the welfare of a nurse. Then you are deducting the person negative 1,004, 300. For the month of May, June, it is there. It is due to this. And already we petition them that we don't want to join the association. Mm. And we want to, I want to make this one clear to the general public that um, the trade union allows different trade unions. So they always use it that since you are a nurse and uh, you don't have any, we have other trade unions. For example, the uni um, UPNMG, that is um, a Union for Professional Nurses and Midwife Ghana. We have NAMGI. So they should allow, at least, they should treat that fundamental human right of a nurse. Okay. We do protect uh, patient, our patient uh, care uh, right. But here is the case, uh, uh, we being a nurse, we don't respect. The association is not respecting the... But is the, it compulsory to be a member of the association? It is not compulsory by the... Um, association definition, how the association defines uh, a, association member. Is yeah, a member. Yeah, a member. It says that you have to fill a form. Okay. And being a filling a form, then that you hold, you become a card holder signed by the president and the general secretary. Right. Then you pay dues as prescribed by the association. Okay. And you are saying you have not filled any such we form? We have not consent to. 
any, but you filled the form and you we have members. not filled any form two so you've been forced to be members and yes. the deductions are taken yes please and the deductions are even more than a uh, snake taking 20 cities for building levy um 50 cities for nurses fund which we don't have beneficiary to it and the dues it is two percent of basic salary meaning i'm paying 34 ghana cities then someone is paying uh, so in all the maximum um, uh, deduction is 120 you being a senior nurse you pay 120 a month Wow. Okay, we are actually working the lines to speak to Perpetua Oforian Pofo. She is um, a, a leading member of the, she actually the General Secretary of the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association to find out what truth there is in this and then really why they have been deducting members according to this um, story, why they've been deducting the members all this while and they are saying that even those deductions, they do not get to see what it's being used for. But in the meantime, you are threatening that if they do not stop the deductions, you're not going to be members of the association. Is that it? N not that. Already we've, we've written a letter to them that we don't want to belong to the association. There are other unions we, do, we want to join. So they should allow that. Which they should allow us to. Ah, exercise. But you are nurses. You should allow yourself to join registered nurses. No, there are other union. Like what? Like Union um, Namji. And, what is a Namji? Um, that is a National Midwifery Association and okay. the Union Professional Nurses and Midwifery. You prefer to join those ones? Uh, they should allow us to exercise that right. That's all. Okay, right. And or what? Or I mean, we. They don't allow you to join, or they force you to join the Ghana Registration. Already, or, they force us to join yes. the association. So, if they don't allow you to join those ones, then then what? We, then we take them. Advise we, 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 we we advise ourselves, and we take them to wherever we uh, the law the law the law will speak for us. Okay, we are we are unable to get perpetual at the moment, but um, what what? Okay, I'm told that we've been joined by um, perpetual Ofori Ampofu. Uh, good afternoon, madam, and thank you very much for your time. <laughs> You're welcome. Right. To start with, is it compulsory for every nurse to be a member of the Ghana Registered uh, Nurses and Midwives Association? It is not compulsory. The point is that you have a right as an individual to belong to a trade union or a professional association. Right. Which is captured in the Labor Act very clearly. Okay. And it's your responsibility to ensure that you belong to one, such that your interests will be protected as a worker. Okay. But, uh, Madam, we have a member of the concerned nurses here who say that they have been automatically added to the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, and there are some reduction, deductions from their salary that they are unable to understand. Has this concern come to your attention? I'm glad that I know because um, we hear a lot of things. We hear a lot of things. If some information comes to us formally, some also informally. And if there are some illegal deductions, I, I want to understand exactly what they are saying. What what? I, I, I'm not even getting it clear. You're we not getting it clear? You mean you're not getting standard. their concern clear? We have three standard deductions that we make from every member's salary. Okay. That's your association dues. We have, which is 2% of your salary. We have building levy, which is 20 cities. And we have nurses fund, which is 50 cities. Nurses fund is like, um, a tier three um, voluntary fund that is uh, has been instituted for the members such that when you retire mm. whatever you have contributed plus returns is given to you now the building levy is also okay. um, a levy that has been levied on every member yeah but but madam if you're saying that it is not compulsory for them to join and they have automatically been added and these deduct deductions are taking place. Is that not an illegality that the association is perpetrating? No. You see, we are professionals. We are professional nurses and midwives. And it is important that as a professional, you belong to your professional association. So nurses and midwives 
need to belong to their professional association. But you've not given and them the... Okay. Association, whom the collective bargaining certificate for nurses and midwives. We must right. We negotiate on their behalf. All and right. To tell um, me the fact. Well, somebody we would have to leave it here for now. Um, no, let, uh, let me make this point, please. Perpetual Ofori Ampofo, uh, we would have let to leave it here for now. Point. She's the General Secretary of the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association. Certainly, in our subsequent bulletins, we will bring you an update of this. But thank